what was it about the part of Arnie that, that spoke to you so strongly? I, I was a big fan of Lasse Hulstrom, and my life as a dog I remember seeing with my mother in the theaters and being blown away by that film. And I was also a huge fan of Juliette Lewis. Uh, I, I saw Cape Fear and I was just like, this is one of the greatest actresses I've seen come out uh, in this industry in a long time. And of course, getting to work with Johnny Depp was, was, uh, was a big thing, but, but it was the role, you know, it was the role. I, I, I remember talking to my agents and, and, and them saying to me, look, this is a real, if you really, you know, want to do a special kind of character and really go for something a little different, you know, this could be it for you. So, you know, I, I really, and Lassa gave us um, these tapes, these tapes of a kid that he wanted to model Arnie off of. And, you know, I kind of just obsessively watched that for a week and imitated what was on the tapes. Mm -hmm. And then after I got the role, it was a whole other process of, uh, you know, uh, investigating that role. Now, I don't think you found out until after you'd gotten the part or maybe even after the movie was done, but Lasse originally didn't want to cast you because he thought you were too good looking. Oh, yeah, that's what I heard afterwards, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I remember getting the role. I actually remember the moment when I got Gilbert Grape. It was, I was so excited because I'd said no to a few things, and I was with, I think, Toby and my friend Kevin were doing hot rod brown class clown or something like that a television show and I was in his trailer and we were in an airstream and I remember jumping up and down and hitting my head and we were all sort of celebrating and rolling around and wrestling it was a great moment it was like it was like uh, winning the lottery really yeah. Toby didn't go out for Gilbert Grape too did he I don't think so <laughs> okay. but like I said I have a terrible memory. <laughs> terrible and he's memory done just fine, so we don't have to feel bad for him. Uh, and once you actually landed the role, um, I understand you continued to sort of study this character by, by spending time at a, was it a, a home? Yeah. For someone who, for people who had a condition like Arnie's. I, again, I, I sort of, this was really the first distinct character that I was playing, so I tried to emulate, I suppose, what I saw Bob do <laughs> on set and um, you know I I went I said Lassa he was kind of involved with structuring the script and I think he was kind of just expecting me to do what I did in the audition and I said well I'm, I'm gonna go to uh, you know a home in, in, in Austin Texas and spend some time with some kids who have mental disabilities and I spent about a week there and I remember coming to him with this checklist <laughs> and he and it was like a hundred different little attributes that I learned from hanging out with these kids and I said will you just show me what you want me to do <laughs> he's like no I why don't you just act those out so I did all of them I said I think I'm thinking of one seven eight nine ten <laughs> twenty four and he's like okay you do that you do that and uh, I remember the first day being incredibly nervous and we did a lot of takes did a lot of takes with Lhasa and I felt like I had it was a catastrophe but the more I was on set the more I got used to the atmosphere and sort of got my, uh, you know, got my feet into the role. It just sort of took on a life of its own, and it was it was a lot. That that role was so fun yeah. because I wasn't dependent on the screenplay whatsoever. I mean, I had my own set of rules. I could do whatever the hell I wanted. I mean, it was sometimes it was like a, you know a dramatic scene for Johnny, and I would just be throwing spaghetti in the in the air, <laughs> and and they and you know Lasse would say, Are "You sure you want to do that?" I'm like, "I don't know. This is what I would be doing." He's like, oh, "All right, you go for it." And it was it was incredibly freeing because I didn't have to, uh, you know, I, we paid attention to the script, but it was so loose. Mm -hmm. You know, everything was so incredibly loose and so improvisational, and I really just lived in my own world. It was great. It was awesome. It was a great experience. And for that role, you were named Best Supporting Actor by the National Board of Review, and you received your first Golden Globe nomination and your first Oscar nomination at the age of 19. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it like going through you know, that whirlwind? I, and you probably couldn't have expected that from this, this small little movie directed by some foreigner. No, I, did, I didn't <laughs> even know what the hell was going on, to tell you the truth. I, uh, I just remember when they told me that I was nominated, I was like incredibly excited, shocked, and then my first reaction was I just, I just don't want to go up on stage and accept anything because they told me a billion people watched you yeah. give award speeches and I said I, I don't want to, you know, 
I told my mom, I don't want to go up there, mom. <laughs> She's like, well, you have to go. You have to go. You have to go do this. But, that's, but I was incredibly shocked. I remember going to a screening and somebody complimented me afterwards and I, you know, I was just completely unaware of mm -hmm. anything that was going on. You know, it's, nowadays you're infused with all this stuff about awards and, and this and that and box office. And I mean, at that time it was just, I, I had no idea. I mean, I didn't even read a, a single review. It was yeah. just like, you know, a, a random person coming up to me after seeing a screening saying, hey, good job. And I'd be like, cool. You know, that was, it was a much different time. So are you aware, aware that Janet Maslin of the New York Times called your turn show-stopping? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Like I said, I didn't read anything. It was just, it was nice to get a reaction from my, you know, my friends and people that I knew. Uh, did that film or the Oscar nomination, I mean, change your career? Did you find more offers were coming to you? Certainly, yeah. I mean, after that, for sure, yeah. Um, things accelerated mm -hmm. after that for me, for sure. 